You then decided that you would be an independent candidate. And the, the question I have for you is, you clearly had looked left, right and centre and decided uh, what went through your mind. So when I was involved with this flag, with a whole team of very amazing people, um, one thing we noticed is that it's one thing to speak as a citizen. We can all write very long articles, we can all tweet, we can all write on Facebook about what's wrong. But if the people who are then empowered at law to make the decisions about our lives are not listening, if they're not competent, if they're not using the power they have, then we really are saddled with a very big problem. And we, as activists, became very critical of the political system and said, you know, they're not talking to us, they're not engaging, they're not finding solutions. Our daily issues, it's always about partisan politics, but they're never dealing with our daily issues. And I come back to that. The daily issue that the Zimbabwean faces, whether it's hospitals, whether it's failure to put food on the table, failure to take kids to school, soaring prices, lack of fuel, lack of zest, that's what politics should be about. Um, Issue-driven, issue-based, yeah, mm. issue-based politics you must solve those problems before you send people to space mm. before you set up a, a space satellite mm. and i remember saying you know and we we had this flag thursday which was a an online television show where we would sit people down and we had a wide range of people politicians from both sides ministers from both sides and we'd ask them questions we were shocked at the caliber of the people who were in charge we could not for the life of us, you know, just think that, look, these are the people running things. Just the lack of competence, the lack of concern, the lack of, you know, solution building, the lack of just even care, mm. you know. How does a crisis get to a point where, you know, there are no water treatment chemicals in the country. You've got no Zesa and it's business as usual. They sit in cabinet and they mm. deliberate. You're like, mm. what are you deliberating about? This country is broken. It's dysfunctional. And so we said to ourselves, you know what? The problem is actually the politics. The issues everyone can see and the citizens are doing the most, but the problem is our broken political system. Now, we were extremely naive and jaded in a good way. We came into politics with an open canvas. And I remember us after, you know, doing this flag for a while and realizing that, you know, people will always ask, so what now and what's the solution? We said, you know what? Let's run for political office. Hmm. And let's run such a clean campaign that everyone will be like, yes, we do have faith in politics. Because the answer we consistently got when we're doing this flag was politics doesn't work. Politics is broken. Elections don't work. We said, you know what? If we run a campaign that can energize the young, that can inspire hope, and a thirst for change. If we can be all the things, maybe we're demanding too much. Maybe they think we're asking for too much when we ask for hope, accountability, and development. Why don't we you know, start to activate people and say, look, if you can be the change you wish to see in the political system, you'll come some way in achieving the solution. And so the Yellow campaign mm. was born. What when a fantastic campaign. Thank I mean, you. that's one of the best uh, Thank political you. campaigns I've seen in a, in a long time. Thank you.